This is the story of Emily, a little kitten I found and rescued off the streets in Spain. So late one Saturday night, we were visiting a town in southern Spain called Arcos de la Frontera. After having dinner, it was about 11 p.m., midnight almost, and we started walking back to the car. And in the distance, I could hear a kitty screaming. Now, it wasn't just a normal meow. It was a loud meowing. Pretty much the kitty was saying, help me, help me, help me. I could just hear it in, in the voice. Oh, I followed the sound of the kitten and walked down to the end of this kind of like block area and there was this old kind of abandoned house site, kind of on the edge of a cliff because Arcos de la Frontera is built up onto this huge cliffside. In order to get Emily, I had to lean over this, I don't know, two foot, three foot high wall and lean all the way over in order to reach where she was at the bottom of the other side of this abandoned house lot. She literally just jumped into my hands. She was so scared. I just like reached over, jumped into my hands. So we took Emily uh, back to the hotel with us. Of course, it was a no pets hotel. So we put her at the bottom of like a beach bag under some towels and stuff and then brought her inside. All we had in the room was some ham sandwiches or something, so I broke off pieces of ham to feed her, a little bit of water, and then the next day brought her back home to La Linea. On the way, we stopped at a pet store. They couldn't help us, so we just were like, okay, we're gonna have to do this ourselves. So we got back to La Linea, went to the vet, got some flea medication and some eye medication to clean up her eyes. Um, she was so covered in fleas, we gave her a nice long bath, uh, cleaned her with a lot of water, combed her out, got all the fleas out, and started basically picking the fleas off one by one. And then finally, we got Emily back to good health, and she was very happy, very talkative, and then I was able to find Emily a forever home. A nice young gentleman from Algeciras uh, came and adopted Emily. This was his first kitten. I was able to give him some information on how to take care of a kitten, keep her safe, and all that good stuff. Honestly, when I found Emily in Arcos de la Frontera, I don't know if she had been abandoned or if she had got out. By the state of her eyes and the fleas on her, I don't know, uh, but I'm really happy that I was able to find her, clean her up, and then able to find someone to adopt her.